Summit School District combats bullying at Summit Middle, where rates are higher than the rest of the state. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, one lane of westbound I-70 is still closed this afternoon after a truck fire there stalled traffic for nearly five hours yesterday near the Eisenhower Tunnel. The lane is closed for cleanup work along with the runaway truck ramp at mile marker 208. No one was injured in that fire. Traffic was diverted over Loveland Pass until I-70 opened again at 10 p.m. last night. Also on the mountain corridor today, the left lane of eastbound I-70 is closed near exit 201 in Frisco for guardrail work and U.S. Highway 6 through Clear Creek Canyon is closed for tunnel damage. Schoolyard bullying is worse at Summit Middle School than the rest of the state, and district officials are committed to changing that stat. The Healthy Kids Colorado survey found 55% of Summit Middle Schools felt bullied in 2017, compared to 44% across the state. 21% at Summit High felt bullied, two points higher than the state average. Julie McCluskey with the district told the Summit Daily officials fight bullying this year with Second Step, a social and emotional curriculum based at the middle school. This past Saturday, the saga of Rocky Flats was put to bed mostly, for now, when gates opened to a wildlife refuge on the former nuclear armament site on the Front Range. The AP reports Rocky Flats has faced legal backlash for months, including lawsuits to keep it closed, claiming it is not safe yet for humans. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke weighed in Friday afternoon, delaying the Saturday opening until hours later when he signed off on the site. State and federal officials claim the site is safe. Activists plan to challenge Zinke's ruling. In sports, the Rockies beat the Giants yesterday three runs to two. The Rockies lead the NL West by a half game, heading into a clutch series with the second-place Dodgers tonight. First pitch is 8 p.m. Also yesterday, the Broncos beat the Raiders by one at mile high, 20-19. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, Summit High Football won its first of the season on Friday, 38-30 over Woodland Park at home, and boys soccer beat Palisade on Saturday, 9-1. The Meadow Gold 5K and 11K was in Minturn over the weekend, the final event of the Vail Rec District Series, where Tyler Curtis of Golden and Grace Falcon of Denver won the 11K, and two 11-year-olds won the 5K, Truett Bennett and Lucy Perkins of Edwards. Silverthorne's Susha Shetman Michael Schomberger placed top three for their age divisions in the 11K, Breck's Nancy Bunani won her age group, and Frisco's Terry Sommer finished top three. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.